everyone, uh, voice crack. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Hi everyone. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely obsessed with Instagram. It is the first thing I check every single morning and I don't get out of bed until I've gone through all the pictures I missed that night. I think I have a problem. <laughs> but it's strange because I feel like there's this weird pressure to have the most amazing Instagram pictures and Instagram themes and everything else. And so I don't end up posting all that often because it's kind of stressful. <laughs> But when I do, I like to use certain apps to edit them, so that's what I'm going to show you today. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Instagram accounts. We can, you know, swap favorites, and you guys can put your favorites down in the comments, and I will check them all out because, let's face it, you can never have enough amazing Instagram accounts to follow and stock and things. So the first thing I'm going to get into is how I edit my pictures and I actually posted a video last week showing you guys what I have on my phone so if you're interested in all of my apps and things you can just check it out in that video. I have two camera apps on my phone. I don't know why. Can someone explain to me why? I didn't download either of them. I know one of them comes with the phone but apparently two came with mine. I like to use this snazzy looking one over here and I find the camera quality is a little bit better. I don't know why, maybe I'm making it up, I don't know. So when I take a picture through here, it doesn't go into my camera roll right away. So I add it to my camera roll and it processes and says hilarious things. And then after that, I go into the app called Aviary. And in Aviary, you can really do so many different things and I think it's such a professional app to have. It makes your pictures look a lot more high quality. You can change focus in it, which is a really cool feature and you can also change the lighting in your pictures which is really great because for some reason I suck at lighting pictures and videos. <laughs> so naturally the first thing I change on a picture is its lighting so I'll usually bump up the brightness unless for some reason the brightness is at a all-time maximum but usually I'll put up the brightness then I'll put up the contrast a little bit. Then I'll usually also heighten the saturation in a picture just to make the colors a little bit more vivid. And if there's too many warm tones, I'll cool it down a little bit. I also like this sharpness option they have, which you can make the picture look more sharp, as you would. But what I think is awesome about this is that it makes your filters not look so much like filters. Because sometimes I find if you put a filter over a picture, it makes it a little bit hazy. So this just takes away that little bit of haziness. Then we'll get into the next app, which is Square Ready. And I use Square Ready for every single one of my Instagram pictures. And lately, I've been using it to create this square theme with a little white border. I've seen some people do this and I really, really like the look. So I've been kind of doing that with my Instagram lately. So what I do is position the picture, then I use the scissor button to make the picture into a square, and then I click the adjust button twice so that it creates that little white border, and then finally I'll upload it into Instagram. I'm trying to make my Instagram a little bit more thematic. I think it looks really cool. I'm just trying to bump up my Instagram game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Before I get into my favorite Instagram accounts, I'm just going to show you some of my other favorite Instagram editing apps. I also really like ABM. Lately I've been using this if I want to do an Ask Chelsea. I'll put it up on my Instagram and I'll make a cute little photo. I'll usually put a background or find a picture on my camera that I took a while ago. And then I put Ask Chelsea over the top in a really cute font. And that's what I really like about this app is the cute fonts they have and all the options that they give you. And finally, the last app I really like to use when I'm editing my Instagram is Afterlight. I just find that they have a lot of really great options for filters, so if I want to put a filter, I will generally use this one. Rarely make my Instagram pictures black and white, but when I do, it is through this app. Now to the part that I'm most excited about for this video, and I don't know why, but these are my favorite Instagram accounts. So if you go through the people I follow on Instagram, you're going to find out that they're mostly cats. <laughs> I love cats. I especially love derpy 
flat-faced cats. Those are the best kind of cats. Cats' Instagram accounts are even better when their humans are hilarious and make the most amazing captions. And my first favorite Instagram account is two cats called Marcel and Poppy. One is an exotic short hair and the other one is a Persian and they're just too cute. And they have the funniest fights. Their fights are just hilarious. They pounce on each other and there's just big balls of fluff rolling around on the floor and it's too cute. Ooh, I forgot there was a chair there. I'm just gonna push that away. And I decided to only pick one more cat Instagram page, even though I have so many that are favorites of mine. But my other favorite is called, I don't know how to pronounce this, Frokeninsin? I don't know. The two cats I really like on this page are um, Frida and Oscar. They're so funny, they're so cute, but she also has three bunnies, and they're also really cute, but the cats are just hilarious. My favorite picture is this one of Oscar, and it says, the next person who turns in sloppy homework will get a butt stamp from Oscar. <laughs> I love this person! Not only am I obsessed with cats, but I'm also obsessed with budgie birds! <laughs> so I found this account on Instagram, it's called Kevin's Birds. He's a breeder in Australia and he has the most beautiful budgie birds I've ever seen and he posts so many pictures. He posts more pictures than any other person I have on Instagram, but I love it because I love budgie birds. <laughs> no Instagram account is complete without the mandatory food pictures. <laughs> and one of my favorite places to follow is the Sweet Bake Shop and it's a bakery here in Vancouver and they just make the cutest macaroons and cakes and I haven't visited there yet but since I've been following them on Instagram I'm definitely going to go really soon because everything just looks perfect. It doesn't even look real. The food looks that pretty that it doesn't look like you can actually eat it. And my last favorite food account to follow is called The Minimalist Baker and she is a blogger from Portland or she's living in Portland and she just makes a lot of different foods um, using simple recipes and a lot of them are vegan. I'm not vegan but I find vegan cooking really interesting and I really want to try more of it. Wink is also a really cool Instagram account and that's a company from St. John's Newfoundland where I'm from represent. It is the best place in St. John's to buy jewelry but following them on Instagram is like following a Pinterest page. And this part was really, really hard, but I decided to choose two YouTubers. I follow so many YouTubers on Instagram, so it was really tricky to narrow them down. But my two favorite Instagram accounts that are from YouTubers are Essie Button and Megan Ranks. Megan Ranks' Instagram theme is on point. Like, completely on point. It's a almost all white theme and her pictures are just beautiful and she's a beautiful person. So yeah, if you want the prettiest Instagram page in the world, go follow her. <laughs> and Essie Button's just so cool. I just think she's a really cool person and I feel like I can really relate to her. We're both Canadian, we're both the same age and I just, I don't know, for some reason I feel like she might be my spirit animal, oh my goodness. How weird can I get in this video? Let's find out. Uh. She just posts really artistic pictures and I don't know, I really enjoy following her. <laughs> don't forget to leave your Instagram accounts and your favorite Instagram accounts in the comments down below and I'll check them out. I'm really excited because I want to add to my list of faves. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you're having a lovely week and before you go, if you want to click that subscribe button, you can just go ahead and do that if you want. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Those are all of my internet homes and those will be linked in the description bar down below. Anyway guys, I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi everyone! So, as a lot of you guys know, I absolutely love my winged liner. I wear it every single day and I've gotten a lot of practice and let me tell you, practice makes perfect.